You give me one dollar, you write your name on the dollar, you are the executive producer. Okay, this is how the movie works. Here we have a hundred dollar bill. I know this is one hundred dollars because there is a number written here. I don't see one hundred dollars, I see just a piece of paper with a number. So let's just say that this is a crowd of one hundred people and somebody counts them for me. And here we have one hundred in singles. I can actually count each dollar and I know it's one hundred. So it's like facing a crowd of people and see everybody's face. And now we have one hundred dollars in singles with a name I can actually see each face and each name. These dollars weren't part of the budget, but the names, they were. This is the real value of this dollar, because it's an identity, it's a person, it's a bless. This signature is a symbol. It represents the only thing that I needed in order to make this movie. I met Gio four months before he told me about the One Dollar movie. At the beginning, I didn't know what he was talking about, actually. He mentioned something about hopes and about, you know, dollars and about making a movie. It was just his way of talking, his way of describing, and his passion that got me involved in the project. The first time I met Gio, he started talking about this project. There was no script, nothing. Just this idea that I really didn't quite understand at the beginning, but he was so passionate about it that I gave him one dollar. Well, that dollar cost me a lot of work because after a few months, we ended up living in the same apartment and then I was involved in the project. Come on guys, this is the one dollar movie. The idea was to see if people would have trusted a perfect stranger with a foreign accent who didn't even speak English very well. And this guy was asking for one dollar in order to make his movie, which had a really bizarre name. Plus, nobody should have known what the movie would have been about, so it totally looked like a scam. The dollar was just a symbol, a hope somebody would believe in the project. When all these hopes come together, they create a big, big energy. And this big energy will help me to make the movie. I'm not gonna use these dollars. They're just hoops. They're not mine. So I decided to make a promotional video to let people gain some confidence with the concept. They start talking about this stuff. A guy who flies with the wings full of dollars out of a cliff. We have no money and we have this shitty camera. It was his own camera that he's been shooting for 10 years. So we said, how can we make him fly? We started building these huge wings. We had this idea of using uh, an umbrella that we bought at the 99 cent store. Every single dollar had to be attached on these wings. And it was really hard to put them on Geo. So after that, we had to take a shot of uh, me jumping from a cliff. They asked me, okay, we need to go top of the hills. And I was like, well, I'm scared of heights. We started climbing this mountain and at a certain point I wanted to give up because I, I was really scared, I was falling and I thought I couldn't make it until the top. I wanted to jump for real, but then they made me realize that the impact with the floor would have probably killed me. So Marco took some shots of me just pretending to jump. And then in our backyard, we shot him jumping off a ladder. I don't know much about post production, but I'm sure he did a lot of work on that. I was quite impressed with the result. So that's why this stuff cost just one dollar. See? 
I remember one day Gio came up to me and Marco, okay guys, we have less than a month to shoot the one dollar movie. And I was like, okay, well let's make it work. The budget is two thousand dollars. Okay, let's take a look at the script. So we looked at the script and it was way beyond that budget. I, I thought it was impossible to make because of the locations, because of the timing, and everything had to work with each other. If one thing would just drop, everything would fall apart. So Giorgio comes to me one day and say, okay, we start shooting tomorrow. So we didn't have any crew, just me, him, and the producer. And we were living together, so I, I've seen him going around with the, uh, like this bunch of paper and that was the script. When I read the script, I had tons of questions for Gio. It was crazy. And I thought that nobody would have applied for a movie called The One Dollar Movie. Jason Lockhart, Mike. It was a rainy day in Los Angeles, and that's a rare thing here. We get about six inches of rain a year. And I was playing around online. I was on a site called Now Casting, and there was the One Dollar Movie submission, and I thought, well, this looks stupid, but I'm going to submit for it anyways. So I did. I got called into audition. And I get in there, and there's this zany-looking Italian guy. He was really intense. I could see it in his eyes. He's moving around the room. He's talking to me about his story, his passion. And I didn't know what the fuck he was saying, but I knew he cared, and he was passionate about his own project, and I dug that. You think that you can just take your passion and take your heart and spread it around the world and make a movie? It doesn't work that way. Then he sent me the script, and I read it, and I had no idea what it was about. But I said, yeah. I'll do this, sure, fun. You know, what else do I got going on? I'm doing a play playing Prince Charming for a bunch of seven-year-olds. This will be way more fun. You're certainly not gonna have like donuts and coffee, and you know what, I need that shit. Uh, I saw this ad, I think it was mandy.com, and I got a call from Giorgio. I don't know, I, at first I was a little skeptical about what this whole thing was about, the one dollar movie. I didn't know if it was some weird joke or something. But I sat and I read the script and I, I quite liked it and I thought at least my character had a lot of similarities with myself. So I was like, yeah, let's do it. The day before the shooting, the actress who was supposed to play the female lead, Kristen, she dropped the project. And I had to find somebody else that very day. The whole schedule would have been messed up because I was going back to Italy the next month. But thank to the big energy an angel should up. Um, I got an email from Gio telling me that on his project, The One Dollar Movie, his lead actress playing the role of Kristen had dropped out and they needed a replacement really quickly. So um, he asked if I could meet up for a quick interview. So I think we met up at a um, cafe, got a couple coffees, and he sort of interviewed me and then he offered me the role. and. The next day, I think, it was a day later, I was on set with these two guys named Jason and John. And <laughs> they just, they welcomed me with open arms. When Olivia showed up on set, I knew I was meant to do this project. Don't tell her I said that. They were actually really involved with the project without even knowing what it was about. I didn't even know what it was about myself. That's what the One Dollar Movie is. It's just trusting and believing in something or in someone without knowing what it is and what it's gonna bring to you. 